YouTube, what's up, what's happening? Here I am today bringing you another video. And today, we're gonna go over what I call graph writing. It's kind of a light graffiti. It's, you know, a lot of people will get airbrushing and graffiti, you know, mixed up, and they will, when they see you painting, come up and be like, well, can you do my name in graffiti? Um, and I understand a lot of you, um, me, I never did graffiti. I'm not a spray can painter or anything like that. I do use spray cans now for some stuff, but like that's not where I originated. I didn't, you know, I didn't do that. But nonetheless, people do still ask. Um, so it is important to learn uh, just a slight variation. I mean, even if it's your own style, you know, it's important to know, you know, at least something. Uh, so what I like to do is take uh, the block lettering that we've already done and just modify it a bit and make it, um, how would you say, a little bit more extravagant, a little bit more gaudy. Um, so for today's exercise, again, we're going to be practicing on paper towels. And um, you are going to need, I am going to be using opaque black and transparent orange um, by Createx and Iwata I HP BCS for this exercise. Um, so basically for this type of writing I always like to start off with my color I don't use the black as you can see a lot of other lettering I do the black first or I'll do you know the shadowing and then I'll come in hard with the black for this particular one I don't like to do that I like to come in with the color first and you'll see why in a minute but we'll take our orange here and um, I do call this writing graph G-R-A-F so that's what we're going to be writing out today. And um, for this particular writing, you might want to also um, limit the amount of um, letters, I guess you could use in a word. Like if you get somebody with the name Rothless Burger or something, uh, you might want to tell them they might want to slim that up a little bit. But just because it's going to be really long and it might become completely unreadable by the time you're done. But again, we are going pretty basic. We're not gonna go full ham graffiti with crazy stuff. This is just the basic design. And um, again, the way you decorate it, the way you design it is up to you. Again, the colors you use. Just for today's exercise, we're using orange and we're gonna keep it simple. Um, again, this is just to learn the basics, just so you get a, a basic premise of the lettering style and of what you should be practicing. So again, I'm gonna start off by just lightly doing uh, GRAF, just normal like you would, um, and again, like I said, lightly, so. And as you can see, it's on there pretty light, you know. But now when we come back with the, I guess the hard line, um, and uh, like how we do with the block, uh, we want to keep it really, really fat. Um, I like to do a really fat one, and you want to keep the letters mushed together. You want you don't want them to have space between them. You actually want them to overlap. So, again, the fatter the better. Um, I, I'll do the G and the R, and then I'll explain a few things here. So. As you can see there, the R is pretty hidden behind the G, and the G's, you know, it looks almost like a block G, it's just, you know, a little bit sideways, it's not nothing crazy, again, we're not going for full on graffiti, I know there's some of you out there that could do amazing graffiti, and you know, we see it every day, but again, you know, when people order a shirt, they're going to want it to be somewhat readable, again, unless they specify otherwise, or if they hand you a design, or if they show you a design. Um, then you know you basically just want to have this up um, as an option for different writing styles uh, so you don't just get burnt out doing the same ones but again uh, as you can see it's just overlapping um, nothing too crazy and uh, again we'll do the A and the F and we'll finish it off here
So as you can see, I mixed it up. There's a little bit like variations here, curves, and uh, every letter is overlapping. And uh, again, this basic design, I just like to fade it up um, for the most part, you know, whatever color they choose. So I just fade it up like so, just quickly, you know, nothing, nothing too precise, just to get some color in there. And uh, this is where the black comes in, and this is kind of where the lettering comes together. It really sticks out as a more graffiti style. Um, is when you do the black, you do want to do around all the outer edges, but you see these edges that where the letters overlap. You don't want to do those. You only want to go around the outer edge of the whole design, and that'll give it a more discombobulated look, a little bit different. So. get this line so what you see there is the whole word kind of becomes one substantial thing there um, and again this is just the basic premise from here you can decorate you could add more colors uh, you know drips blood you know splatter all kinds of stuff you could add on to this but this is the basic premise for the lettering again you know, everybody's will be different because this is a, one of those lettering again where you have a lot of leeway and graffiti ranges from just so many different styles and so many different ways of doing it. So I can't really even say anything ab about how you might want to make your letters look. This is just the way I do it and this is just a quick, um, easy way of getting a cool lettering that, that's kind of hard to read but not too crazy. and. Um, you know, most people will recognize it as something kind of graffiti-ish. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This will pretty much wrap up the lettering designs. This will be the last one. Um, I will go over some lettering uh, dress-up basics and an advanced lettering kind of video. But um, for now, we're going to leave the lettering behind and we're going to start moving into shading and coloring and a little bit of that so that when we do get to lettering, uh, dress up and how you know you can make these look even crazier um you know you'll have a good understanding of what colors or what you can do and you know why it looks that way or how to do it so there you go guys uh that's my graph graph writing right there uh graffiti minimum uh is what i would call it um it's not nothing really superb at least not for me but i do find it to be nice so anyway let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and post your results down below. Um, again, as always, I cannot stress enough. Practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the better it'll get. You might want to clean your airbrushes. My black one seems to be, has something stuck in it. I need to take it apart and see what's going on there. But um, there you go. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.